think it's working. I think. There we go. I think y'all can see. Can y'all see like my screen and stuff and like hear my voice and music? Can y'all like, can y'all hear me? Hold up, I gotta freaking delete some daggone messages or chats because they're being real Ugh, that's toxic. Alright, let's go over. No, I don't. I, I tried to watch that anime. I don't like it, so I don't watch it. Okay, and like the music is fine as well. Like the level between like my voice and music. Uh, oh, why did I do that? Yeah, I can see our chat. Yeah, nobody likes part one, I see. Uh, give me one sec. Take it from my phone. So I can have the chat open next to me. Oh. Um. Oh wait, this is looping. My bad. Let's put on another one. Nope, somebody just did something. Uh, I'll probably see it pop up. Hopefully. Hey, dragon, I swore. Thanks for the sub. Alright. Okay. So I'm gonna explain part one. So part one pretty much uh I should actually just show my like screen and stuff rather than like a window. Hey <laughs> Super Holland, thanks for the sub Jesus Christ. Holy crap, hold up, hold up. Janet Diaz, thanks for the sub. Alright. Uh so let's go to part one. Jesus Christ. Ain't Chan, thanks for the sub. Alright, so if we go to... Part 1. Hey dads. Hate them. Okay, so part 1. So there was like a download, right? I actually put these steps here for instructions if you didn't see those. Alright, so we're going to download the actual place. So when you click on the link, you come to this page and you just click the blue button. And then you download it. And I'm going to download the uh, animations too. So let's download this. And they're going to be handled like differently. So how you open it up is you click on like the place, right? Sans don't save. Yeah, we'll get to that. So I just want to get like part one out of the way first. Oh yeah, I already did Roka. Uh, the Roka street. Any help or anything? Um, if I do need help, I'll, I'll actually sit down. Alright, so part one just consisted of this one dummy, right? And... It already came with the scripts, which I don't know why I didn't just, you know, type it in the video, but I just wanted to get those videos out. 
and pretty much like if you just download it like this right and let's say you like you publish it let's publish the Roblox real quick Jojo template now just do that right now most people they just downloaded it and just played thinking like it's gonna work like it it, it won't work like you press E well for me it will work because you don't own animations but let's say if it wasn't an animation of mine then the sand most likely like stayed right there and it gave you an error with like animation error or whatever so in order to fix that that's where the dummy with the animations come in from so what you do is right click on the workspace insert from file and then we're gonna find the thing I just downloaded, which is that, and you just click open, and you just add that to your your place. And then, if you open the scripts, right, you just click the arrow. You can see like the objects and stuff in the scripts. So you got like the idle animation, the dummy, etc. And if you wanted to get the summon animation, so you like the thing can work, you would just open up the animation that it click on the dummy I'm gonna just play this so you can just see that you know that's the animation you click the three dots animation priority to action export and we're just gonna call this Jojo test summer and then you should get that link well not the exact link but you, you should get a link and then you copy it, you go to the idle animation object, and paste it in, and then when you test it, you know it should work. I will speak like this for the rest of the stream, please don't, please don't. Man, my stand don't say it, the stand up later. Alright, yeah, I'll get to that. I mean, that's not really a tutorial for like everything. You just gotta sort of apply your knowledge. And then when you spawn it, you know, your stand should still work and stuff. Um, let's close this out. Sure. And if we go to. Uh, thing I just had open. This is like the finished tutorial series thing. I believe part two was punching. Part two. It's punching, yeah. And a lot of people have problems like getting the animations to work. So like we did for part one, just go to animation editor, open up the animation dummy. Click the three dots, click load, and you should see left punch, which is that, and right punch, which is that. And you would export them individually, you get their links, and then you'll go into server script service, and whatever stand like you're using. I have like three stands because I'm doing like multiple stands at, at like the end. And then you will go to stand punching, open that up, and you see your left punch your right punch and a lot of people have problems with the hitbox this is literally how you get the hitbox it's a part name the hit box so we size it make its transparency to one and that's your hitbox it's literally that simple um Trying to go over some more stuff. Uh, yeah, Moon is good. Moon is really good. Yeah, I know why. I know why uh, the Rogue developer uses it because he can animate more than one object, and that's what I've been starting to use for like my game. You like see those animations of like the player pulling like the player out the pod and stuff like that. And like the killer putting a survivor in the park. Um, 
no more animation. Yeah, no animation that is good. But like, I recommend uh, I recommend Moon. All right, so now like uh, I think that really covers part one and two. Part three was a barrage. And I, a lot of people had problems with this, and like they said, because it didn't do damage. So, like, the dot touch function, it has like a limitation to where it can't like interact with anything anchored. So, like, if your like dummy that you were punching was anchored, then you would like make sure this is checked off and double click it just to make sure. Like, you can. You know do that and it it also came with like the wave as well um but I recommend after doing part three uh, keep watching through and then you'll get to leave part eight part eight is when I redid it and I use Raycast instead I'm like let me just test this I don't mind like doing something new in the uh the stream or uh, broski. I just want to get out like the areas and stuff out the way. It's like I already have this fan, right? So the R6 then this actually brings me back. Um, I like the concepts of stands. Don't get me wrong. Like stands are cool. Like I I have like a a game idea and like one of the like abilities of like. The people would be like a certain, like it wouldn't be called a stand. It would be like a guardian, but that would be like an ability for it. Um, that reminds me. So R six, right? So for your R six stand to work, um, I believe stand one is R six. Let me drag this up. Oh, it ain't. Okay. Uh, which one is R six star? I think star is. Yeah, R6. So when you had an R6 and a uh, dummy, right? And you like put it in your summon animation. And uh, let me go over this now. So you see the name of the stand right here inside the script. This has to be the exact same name you put in the script. So if you go to the script, you see this line right here. It says local my stand. Is script wait for child star. This star has to be the exact same name as that, or you'll have like errors and stuff. Um, this just like deletes the folder that it's placed in, so that's what this folder is. So like you create a folder that holds the stand, and then instead of like deleting the stand individually, you could just delete the folder. And this part, I don't think many people got this part, but this prevents like your stand from duplicating when you die and stuff like that. It removes your stand when you die. Uh, give me one second. I'm not gonna do a, uh, a stream like this. I don't think I'm gonna do another stream like this, but uh, I will do more parts to the cognitive. So, the R6 then. That, uh, 
so a lot of people were having problems with the punching so if you go inside the script right you know make sure the name when you're like finding your stand make sure the name is the exact same name as the stand that's in the summon script of course um and when you get to this part uh where is it so the local hand right so if you're using R15 so let me just bring up R15 stand if it's R15 this will be left hand but if you're doing R6, it has to be left arm. And then you change, you also change the C frame of the hitbox. So you just do C frame like this. And that moves it down to like the edge of the, the arm. So you can actually see the hitbox. And I can uh, make this visible. I'm going to make it like red as well. So you can actually see it. Yeah, I can test that. Give me one second. So you see the sand. That's the hitbox when you punch. Okay, and you said check and see when you're using the standout and you die you can't use any more moves I got blocked from chat what do you mean you got blocked from chat alright Nagarum I think it's because of the spell oh. yeah divine so you you have to do like the animation part you have to export the animation from the animation W. Are you said when you die and then you die with the stand? Can I use it again? Hmm. Let me try this. Oh wait. Uh, let's do the world actually. Let's do this. What is move the shoes? I think I put a prevention thing like that. Yeah, it seems it works for me. Um, let me check the local scripts. So if I look at service storage stands, ah, <sighs> Mazda Star. So if I use punching. Uh, let's see. The world. I think I fixed that problem. Um, spoon. I think I fixed that problem. I don't remember like which part. But what you have to do is go into the local scripts, and you should see like this if statement. What's like the uh, the bounces stuff. You have to add this right here. Which allows it to not like break when like your stand dies and you try to use a move or whatever. Then this this like one, but this if statement prevents like it breaking yourself in the local script. It could do that. Uh, summon doesn't need it because you know you have to summon it first, you know. But all the local scripts have that. Um. I like R6 because it's easier. Yeah, R6 is easier, but like I really like R15 when I can do so much more with the animations and stuff. Um, yes, yeah, no problem. But even so, how do I make the music? Um, but I don't know what this, how to skip. So if you look at like the magic series, right? Um, I went over like explosions and like stuff, like projectiles and stuff. Literally, the Rasengan is just like an explosion. Uh, 
think of a Bazinga and it's just like an orb. Like a circle, like a spear that's like welded to your hand. And then... Uh... When it's welded to your hand, you can just like go up to like the target or whatever. Use the dot touch function. And then spawn the explosion. Like it's simple like that. Uh... No problem in the crowd. Appreciate it. Uh, what's the enabled use for? Oh, so I think that was part 12. Because somebody was asking, like, you can use multiple moves at the same time. So, what that does is prevent you from using another move when you're, like, using, like, punching or, like, uh, your barrage. It just makes sure you can, like, spam the move set of the same. Make the volume a little louder. Uh, my mic volume or... My mic volume or like... I have no idea who Killer Queen's... Like I don't watch like JoJo so I don't know much about it. I just know like... The basis of you know you have a stand it follows you around it does abilities moves can power you up and you know um you check DMs you ask the question you can't hear too much mic volume uh give me one second uh turn down the music a little bit uh, let's see if the mic sound settings not this um. they like OBS I mean not OBS my mic like my actual mic crime control I didn't think that's the right thing that I'm trying to do. But can you hear me? Is like my mic good though? Ah, how to interact with keyboard. Like, uh, how to script an input with keyboard to make output. Do you need a remote No, you don't need a remote function. Um, I could go over this real quick. But typically, anytime you want to use like input, you need to use a local script. Uh, I usually put it in Starter Pack because that's that's just where I I put like my local scripts at. Um. So what you need to do is reference the user input service. And how you do that is game get service user input service right and then user input service has a, a few functions um the function you want for pressing keys you want to use you want to do user input service dot input begin colon connect function parentheses and you should have that right now inside of the parentheses you have two variables or like two parameters you have the input which is the key that you press and yes is like typing so what this does is prevents you from using the move 
or like using the the function while you're like typing or interacting with any UI or GUI or stuff like that. Um, so what you want to do is set it up as if is typing then return else if input dot so if you want to use like your keyboard right you want to do input dot key code which is getting like the key code or like the key numbers of the keys that you press to the keyboard um is equal to enum i believe enum is like a sort of data type or database or whatever i think it's a data type i'm just not too familiar with that and then you would do dot key code dot and then like the key so we can just do like g and then there you have it is you know your key input you can make it do whatever you want you can print something like blah uh, you can fire remotes which is what I use it mainly for which is a uh, how like I do like the moves and stuff um, Let me read the comments. That's what I'm doing. No, I can't send. I won't send this file because like it has everything. But like I really want y'all to watch the videos. At least pay attention to the long ones because those are the ones that actually gives you all the information and stuff. Um, yeah. Give me a second. I'll check it. Oh, that's the. Uh. As we are. It took me so long, I don't know. Oh, a heavy punch. Didn't see much, so. I gotta fix the arrow in Rokaka. I can still use the arrow like three times in a row and get different stands. Rokaka removes the stand and it works, but the arrow doesn't really like. I guess carrying you basically meaning no cross. Oh! Uh. I see, I see. Um, let me let me check the scripts real quick. I think this is something that I messed up. Uh, so if I click the Roka, I think they're all just local scripts that goes to uh, server script. Yeah. Uh, let me find these server scripts. Server script storage, stand remover and stand updater. No, not updater, but stand remover and stand giver. So giver is like for the arrow, um, and remover is for the roca. Let me zoom out a little bit. So what this does, right, is it gives you like your stand, it removes your other one, and it removes the uh, arrow. Um, oh, and one quick thing. So if you scroll up, right. I believe right here so you see like the local stands uh, line what this is referencing is the folder of all your stands and the server storage as you can see right here which has all your stands in there so then when you do a random stand right and like I said when you do like the local stand and you're getting your stand this name right here has to be the exact same name as the folder which gives you the scripts for your stand and this is just like setting the value to your stand and I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this actually because this has to do with the Roka um anything else is just a rinse and repeat from the first top part but if you come to the Roka right the Roka gets your stand removes it but it never removes like the stand value so like let me show you this uh okay, well.
like this maybe. Alright, so like I was saying for the arrow and stuff, right? If you go to player stats, you see like the stand holders. Uh the player stats the stand value and how like if I grab the arrow and the roca. If I click the arrow right it changes that value and it gives me this stand, right? But what the Roka did was it removes your stand out of the backpack, but I forgot to tell it to remove the actual thing. So like, if you reset, then you are given that previous stand that you had because the Roka didn't remove like the value. So the reason why I copied that one line right here is because we're going to need this line pretty much you can just paste it right here let me tab it back and then we can set the value to that which removes your stand completely and if you need to see that closer you know that's how you can see it's the Roka this is the server script as well no, let me publish that. So then when we test it. It's not really a efficient script. I can like pretty much, uh, I can try to explain like how I learned it. But uh, give me a second. So when I use the arrow gives me star, I have star now and when I use the Roka does that so now I don't have a stand because I use the Roka fruit so that's like a Roka fix um, and I'm pressing the key to summon this stuff I just click the arrow and now I got a stand I'm like yeah alright um, Beginner tutorials is like pretty much what you need and then once you learn to begin like the basics you just get those down Then like literally you probably don't need a tutorial for like a while unless you're doing like more complex stuff um All right make fun How do I get the r6 dummy so I have a plugin and I, ha I have a lot of old plugins actually that got like removed like this custom creator like this got removed but like I still have it. and uh the avatar not the avatar importer but the rig builder I think the rig builder comes with something no let me check uh, not plugins for really. manage plugins I can't remember where that comes from but I think it's an old plugin that's not gonna pop up here either. Um, so I just Soren, thanks for the sub, man. Uh, so if I'm looking, oh, I got an update mode too. Uh, I can't remember like which plugin gave me that, but I think it's an old one or something, or it came with some some plugin that it came with or something. When you click this, you click R6, and you can just get that, and stuff like that. Or you can, um, what you can do is go to Roblox, right? Go to Avatar. Set your Avatar to R6, and go into the game, play. No problem, Max. What's the goal? Oh, why is this? Make sure that the avatar is player shorts. Yeah. Alright, now let's play. So you see my characters are 6. You can go to workspace. Click on your character. Copy it. Then stop. Then go to workspace, right click workspace, paste into it. And now you have a R610. I mean a R6. 
and you can just like take the stuff out of it. So like, I can remove that, 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 and then I can set the colors to like a gray. And uh, let's see where is it at here. I can remove the face, remove the humanoid, and then insert object, animation controller, call it anim control. Uh, I believe the other stuff gets. And it's just like that, and you can have an ice extend like this and stuff. Oh, uh, I think you could put a, you probably could put a, a humanoid in it. Like that goes to like the, I usually will use like the humanoid only if I'm like doing like the, the more in depth like stand. Cause like there's another way you can do it, where you can use like body velocity and body position, body gyro and stuff like that. And then that's where you can like use like tweening like the most at. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do that. Um Rig Builder. Hmm. Uh, uh let me find let me scroll up. Okay. EXP so you say it. Where do I find efficient scripting tutorials, right? So pretty much when I first started, I just went to YouTube and uh, how to script on the Roblox. Oh, I could just do prop for these Roblox. I didn't watch like any of like the newer people, like uh, Alvin Box or anything. I watched like uh, Peas Factory and. I believe Applebot. I don't know if Applebots will pop up here. But Applebot right here. I use some of his tutorials. And like to think like you wouldn't think like watching what is it at? Like a torch tool, like I, I watched like all of these other tutorials and stuff like that. You wouldn't think these tutorials would be used to make the things that I did, but like that, that's how I learned how to make them. Like I, I applied the knowledge that I got from all these tutorials and made it. And uh, like if I needed extra help, but I didn't want to use like the tutorials anymore, cause like it's not a tutorial for everything. Um, you can just go to Roblox. Uh, developer, not developer form. Uh, developer. Dot Roblox. You go to this website, which is the API for Roblox, and you can like search up different things. So like, I believe I learned C frame from here, cause like I was trying to make a Dragon Ball Z game, like a while back, and when I made the comment, we ha. Like it only went out in one direction, but it didn't go in like every direction that I looked. Um. Yeah, I know. I know. I could put click uh, Alt Tab. As well, check DMs one more time. Yeah, the sand, the arrow does that. The arrow will actually reset your stand. But if you want like a fix so that you can't use the arrow while you have the stand, then um, what you want to do is uh, let me check the uh, local scripts real quick. Does it have any bool value? Okay, so if you got a stand giver, right? And let's say like. Uh, let's drop a few lines at the top, and um, let me play so I can actually see it like firsthand, like next to me while I script this. Um, I'm gonna open up 
do that. Okay, so what you want to do is in the stand giver script, right? Man, there's a lot of spikes. Alright, stay focused. Alright, so you would do. So we're gonna reference this folder, right? So we're gonna do local player stats is equal to player dot. We'll wait for child player stats, right? So we reference the player stats folder. Then we have to reference the stand value. So I'm just gonna do stand value to name it differently from stand because there's a lot of stand names here so I'm going to do stand value is equal to player stats colon find first child and I'm going to use this as a sort of bool so stand value and then we're going to make an if statement so what we're going to do is if stand value dot value is equal to empty string because that's what type of a uh, class name it is it's a string value so if it's an empty string then actually we can do this a bit better if stand value is not equal to empty string so if you don't have a stand so let me put a comment uh, let me remove that end put a comment above it and that's what it would do all right so you see I have like this error It's because I didn't close out this if statement so what I want to do is go down to the bottom of the script let me uh collapse some of this stuff so I'm gonna collapse that right now let me collapse it again real quick and I will put an end so it closes off this if statement. So if I do that, you can see, you know, how it closes off. And then let me open that up. I'm going to come here to the bottom. And I'm going to tab this over just a little bit. So indent it over. So it just looks nicer. And, um, bam, that works. When I stop this, this should actually save. Yeah, it saves. So now, if you play it, the Roka is the only thing that can remove your sand. So uh, let me come right here. Put the arrow up. I don't think I have a sand. I do. Okay. So you see, I'm clicking on it, like I'm clicking on it, and the next nail with value. All right, give me one second. All right, so I got to do one more thing. Stand value and stand value is not equal to empty brackets. Actually, no, not not equal to. It has to be equal to that. So yeah, let's bring it back to that. And let me publish this. So when I try this, my stand gets removed, blah, 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 I use an arrow. Huh. Oh, I think I know what I did wrong. It's not called stand value, it's called stand. Not stand value, but keep the variable name the same. Um, then when we play, and we come, I have my stand. When I use the arrow, I can't use the arrow because I already have a stand. So I have to use my Roka fruit, which gets rid of my stand. And this. Yeah, this error is still. That's fine, honestly. 
because it shouldn't break the uh, stand. If I use the arrow again, and I have a stand, and I can use the ability again. Yeah, but that arrow, I don't know why it just pops up. Shouldn't really pop up, but it does. So it's not really game breaking though. So you should be fine with that. I right, make fun. Peace. And now let me ask Ezreal, you see it? Yep. Uh, yeah, no problem. Um, is there any more things y'all wanna want me to do before I did? Any more things you having problem with? Any more problems y'all having or no? I have no idea how to do quotes and poses. You just literally like if you see this right, you just need this and then you need a remote event that it fires to and it just plays the animation on your stand and your player. I don't know how you use toolbox stand players. Uh, stand some of them will not be rigged, and you'll just have to make your own. But I'm not gonna really go into toolbox because I don't like really going inside of it in general. Yeah, when you all right, so you just brought this up. Um, notice how the place is on my creations instead of a group creation, right? And say like I enable team create, and I exported the animations on my creations and not a group, right? So what Roblox does is. There's a sort of like system that blocks other people from using your animations, right? And when I have them under my creation, they're classified as mine only. Um, now, I don't know if like you can put animations back on sale. Let me check this. Uh, but when it, what ends up happening is since it's team crate and it's under your creations, they're like, oh, this is your animation, not theirs. So they can't use it. And like this. Yeah, they don't even allow you to open up animations anymore. But pretty much that's what happens. Is that uh Roblox blocks it. So when you like having trouble with like a team crate, make the game under a group. And export the animations under the animations in a group creation. So that everybody can see it. So you don't have to deal with Roblox blocking the animations. How do I get the parts for the custom model? I made them in Blender. Made them in this software. I right hear Blender. It's a really good software. Oh, uh, yeah. Made in here. Um. What part is the enable bull value? I think that's part 12.
sand summon effects like sand transparency to one to zero. Yeah, you could do that with like a tween. Darian, what you mean? Can't really understand that. Kerbo, I made a projectile video like a week ago. So you just look at that. How to make quotes? I don't know how to make quotes. Yeah, poses are easy. Literally, poses is just you plan the animation on the stand and your player. Like, that's literally what you do. The Datasaur that makes the saves. Um, yeah, give me a sec. Uh, data. So this is the data store if you haven't gotten it. Um, if you change, so data stores are very delicate, right? So like, let's say I went into this and I just changed like this one thing, right? Most of the time what happens is the data thing gets like corrupted or whatever. And it's like, whoa there buddy, you, you gotta update it. So. If you want new data, you just change the data name string right here, and that makes your new data. Um, and this is a data store, like the data store script. And that's the script. Um, yeah, let me check the comments. Yeah, you can implement it into your stand. Do I work for somebody? No, I don't work for somebody. And do I get paid? No. I'm hoping to make this into a career, but like, you know, it just takes time. Okay, I'm back. Did you miss me? <laughs> I wanna say I missed you, but welcome back. There's a bug with Roblox Studio and scripts. What do you mean, Benjo? Where scripts get corrupted and everything. Uh, you might just have a studio virus and if your scripts get corrupted. Cause I, I don't think I've ever had any of that type of problem. Of any script getting corrupted. I can't, like, I, I told, like, everybody else, like, I can't give you the animations, like, point on, like, you have to export them from the dummy I gave you in the download. And, uh, if you want to see that part, that's in, like, the beginning. Uh, Ruby Cyborg, please, thanks for the sub. Uh, that's in the beginning of the stream, like, I go over how to get the animations to work. Uh, you like camera manipulation? Nice, nice. How do you know if it's a virus? Usually studio viruses do things that, you know, normal studio don't, don't do. Like, normal studio won't corrupt your scripts. I don't know if that ever actually happens to anybody. That usually happens if, like, you know, you have a studio virus from using free models and stuff like that. That's why I don't like using Toolbox, because these free models, man, they be having all types of viruses. That's so why I just make my own. And that's what kind of motivates me to make my own as well. Because I don't, I don't want no virus to mess up my game. So I just learn how to make the thing. And then there, problem solved. I learned something new. I couldn't download the dumb little animations. So why not? But like, because literally, like, literally, that's the only thing I can do to help you. If that doesn't work, then I don't know. If you want to show it again, you will go to... Hey, actually, I can do. Excuse me. I can. 
go to my channel. Um, let's go down like seven months. Right here. And when you click on, we click on the the uh couldn't download the dummy animation. Try checking the plugins. Yeah, plugins also have viruses as well. I've noticed that. The download doesn't take you to the studio. So follow follow what I do. So you see you go to part one. Uh I can't see the description. It's like a bug or something. Alright, there we go. When you go to the description, right? Download the animations. You click download, right? Save. This is not a file that you open up. Like you don't click on it to open it. You go to studio. Right click on workspace. Insert from file. Click on the download. Open. And it brings it into studio. And that's how you get the animations. And then you just follow the steps on exporting the animations and changing the IDs. I mean, you don't really need to learn how to make a cutscene and learn camera manipulation. Like, camera manipulation could be like a screen shake, like how I do my screen shakes and stuff like that. That's just like simple cam manipulation. Uh. Oh yeah, I forgot to say thank you. I learned that you could indeed make more stands and well make stands in Roblox and that inspired me to actually learn something. Currently making them from scratch. That's awesome, man. That's awesome.
My bad, I'm back. I need to back. Oh, what the hell? I'm just, I'm broke. Go. Okay, I'm back. Um, no problem, sprinkles. Uh, I don't even think there's an antivirus for Roblox Studio, to be honest with you. Uh, Job, uh, if you look at part 12, I redid the uh, time stop, so like you can no longer use like your stand and stuff inside of it. Because you read the entire stand from the script. No problem, Krev. Krev? Crab, yeah, crab blocks. Okay. What's up, Piggle Pie? Um, I just actually understand what happened. What's happening? Hold up. I'm reading the uh, comments. What kind of effect? I'm gonna judge again. Thank you. Thanks, see you. No problem. No problem, Ruby. Uh, lighting effects. Oh, there's like different like things you could do with uh, lighting effects. What's up, Iron? Um, I think my mic's on. Yeah. Are you asking me? Did I make a game or? Oh no, you asking Ruby? I try playing around with ambience with your script. Yeah. Or if you're lazy, make a UI that's a bit of transparency. Uh, I need to do is finish like three or four more animations, and the game is done. Awesome. The stands are done. Well, what's up, Arxis? Arxis? I think that's how you pronounce it. What's up, man? Uh, dang. Do damage after time stop. Of people, oh my god. What do you mean, do do a damage happen after? Are you asking, like, does damage happen after time stop? If so, then no. It, it's just, like, time stop. You can, like, use moves and stuff inside of it, though. Please check stand updater. And data, because my stands are not saving. Um, Mary, do you have API settings on? So, like, if you have it on, like, go to your game settings. And then, I believe it's options, yeah. And make sure this is on, or else like your data store won't work at all. And if you need to like reset your reset your data, then go into the data script and like just re just rename this part right here. Make it to something random like, bah, that can be your data name or whatever. But yeah, um, is there an alternative to taking damage? I'm trying to do a heal move. Yeah, so instead of like removing health, so if we go to like stand punching, right? You see how it says E humanoid take damage, right? Uh, let me check. Let me check something real quick. Uh, humanoid Roblox. I don't know if there's like a healing function, cause that'd be dope if if this is if there is one. Um. I think it's just take damage though. So. Yeah, take damage is the only thing. So if you want a hail move, right? So what you can do is E humanoid dot health. So you put an E humanoid dot health plus you know I don't know, damage can be like a hail number or whatever. And this is how you would hail them. And like you can remove this line. Cause that's them taking damage and stuff. But yeah, that's how you can do like a healing. Um, <sighs> Red, my friend is watching this live. Would you maybe show him how to anchor the stands in time stop? Uh, the time stop actually already does that. If you watch, uh, I believe it's part four. Well, I recommend him watching like all of them. Yeah, part four is time stop. But when he goes through it, he can go through. Like uh oh wait no actually I don't think I 
I don't think I stopped the stands in time. So. Uh, give me a second. Uh, find the stop. Time stop. Um, the world. <sighs> <laughs> no existence. Paris characters. Enemy. Never disable their moves. Um. What we can probably do is, uh. We can also do a another if statement. So if we drop this line, right? Um. So you see how it says if there's like a humanoid in the character. What we can do is else if. I don't know why that popped up. It's not popping up. Else if chars is a folder, so like it stands a contain in a folder, right? And then we can do local anim control. Actually, no. We should do uh, local sub stand. So that's the stand inside the folder. Character. Uh. Wait, hold up. Let me do this real quick. Um. How can I do this? <sighs> um, for J, K, or stand in pairs, chars, colon, get children, do, right? And then we could do a local sub stand, alright? And uh, let me make sure you can see this. Substand. And then if stand. Let me make sure. Yeah, these are only two things that's named like that. So if stand is a model, because the stands are models. And then we're going to do local anim. Control is equal to uh, stand is equal to stand colon find first child and what this does is it ignores the uh, the moves that uh, get placed in folders as well and we can do Anim control if anim control then I wanna make sure this is not using the same like name. Okay, we're good. Then it sets sub stand is equal to stand, right? And then what you wanna do is after the uh force what uh works. The if statement, then we can do 4j because this is already in a loop. Then we can do 4j again because it's outside of this other loop. 4j, we can just do stuff in pairs, stand, or well, substand, colon get children, do, and if stuff is a base part so instead of doing like if stuff is a part or if stuff is a mesh part we can just do base part because they're considering like both of them then uh we can just go back up here real quick oh i didn't close that out so open that up that up and we can just do this we can copy that respawn function as well um from here down here, I can tab that stuff. Make sure stuff is there, 
and then that will freeze the uh, enemy stand if they have a stand out. So if you need to see that, that's where this is located. So we just added a else if. And that's how we do it. Alright. Um What's my Discord? Uh if you just look at like the pre like one of the one of my videos or whatever, you'll see like the Discord link there. I have no idea how to get rid of viruses, man. I can uh this phone, man. All I can tell you is remove any free models that you have in your game and remove any uh any plugins that's not widely used by a lot of people. So if it's not known, like a known plugin that a lot of people use, then remove it completely. Um Share Heart Attack bomb. I actually did a share heart attack bomb a while ago for somebody for that game. It was like a commission and stuff. So that was pretty cool. Uh Try to make my own animations. Everybody's video show me how to animate properly. Awesome. Make animations easy. Show how to do specs. I don't know how to do specs. I barely even know what they are. Like if I show how to do specs or something, I'm gonna have to like play a lot of JoJo games. Then I'm gonna have to take like two hour. It's gonna be like a two hour video, <laughs> or like a lot of parts making a spec system. Man. Forget my sand just spawns on random place on the map and falls to the ground. You have to add, uh, did you export the animations and change the animation uh, ID to yours, right? If you didn't, then that's the problem. Oh god, I looped. Your mic is looped? No, mic is looping? Really? Hold up. Um. I know how life is. Copyright? Yeah, that's fine. I think we're good, right? Check. Wait, is that the real fix? I don't know how to make items that involve your sin. I guess you're talking about like the. The one arrow, I forgot what it's called, um, Requiem or something like that. You can do like, you could probably make something like that. But then why does it glitch? What do you mean, what glitch is been Joe? So my sand is summoning, but it's not following the old planning animation. Did you export the animation and change the ID to the ID that you got from exporting it? Hey, I have a question for model direct decoration. Yeah, I use Blender to make my models. We ever do RBX gameplays? Roblox gameplays? Um, I didn't know that y'all would actually like Roblox gameplays. That's why I didn't like do much. Like, I, I play more games than just Roblox. Like, Roblox is fun and all, but there's not many good games on the platform so I just used to play other games outside of it and that's what the twitch is for when I want to stream that when barrage and walk forward then use the stand then my stand moves backwards from barrage inside my stand as an avatar rather than sticking to the animation stand a little uh I don't know why it's I did, but it doesn't follow me at all. Check your output for any errors. You might be having errors in. Um, and check your output when you test it, not just open it up. Like, test the summon and see how it reacts. And you said it stays in front of you? 
and if it stays in front of you, make sure you have the hitbox, right? And the animation object that you need. Man, this has this man has Volcaka. Yeah, I have a Volcaka. Oh, just actually, I accidentally had to. Nice. Are you gonna make a part with projectile moves? No. No, I'm probably not gonna do JoJo. Like, if I do, it'll probably be like later this year or like early next year. But I probably won't go back to JoJo after this. Uh, I did. I did projectiles so you can use those projectiles into like your stand and stuff. Jupe or Jub, where's the bull enabled? That's in part 12. To make a camera set the sand value to the recommend mode character. You don't really have to load character, you could just remove the sand and give them the new one. Based on if they have a current sand that can use the Roka. I don't know how to do like in game commands, man. Yeah, like you can do something like that, uh, Ruby, but I don't really know how to do like in game commands or whatever. It's not my forte. Uh, is there anything else before I end the stream? How do you make items evolve? After players add your Roblox sheet. He teaches us how to make Steven Universe game. I mean, what a, what would a Steven Universe game look like? Like, I see, like, somebody actually working on something, but, like, they're not really a, a good... They like to steal things from other people. So I don't really keep up with their game stuff anymore. I don't know how to do, like, commands and stuff. Like admin commands and stuff like that. I don't know how to do that. I don't really pay attention to those because I usually don't need to use any commands to make items that are just stand value. I mean, y'all could probably uh, like to learn how to do it and stuff like that. Uh, give me one second. There we go. Change the name is triggering me. It's Rokaka. Kaka, Kaka, Kaka. I mean, I could just keep it Rokaka. Rokaka. Whatever. Bosses? What do you mean, like bosses with sands? Like, you'll have to learn, like. You actually want to need a lot of knowledge for, like, uh, pathfinding and, like, loops and modules and uh I think magnitude you'll probably have to use for the boss as well why don't I make a Jojo game my mic just seized you said Wait, is the mic good? Is the mic good? Or did it just like die or whatever? <sighs> oh, the world? I'm having some errors here. I'm having errors here. What the heck? The heck happened here? What the? Did it just get deleted? Okay, that's odd. That's super odd. Uh, that's super odd. Okay. Oh yeah. I think quotes can be made using keybind chat mobile. I think you could do it. I answered your questions, but you heard gibberish. I 
I don't really know how to make a uh, like an item that evolves your sand or whatever. Trade system, I'm not gonna go over that. Looks like a headache and a half right there. No, it's it's lit uh so the first mag like the first magic uh tutorial series is literally me recreating well like creating from scratch magic for you guys to learn. Just like something simple. Like I already know how to do like more advanced stuff and you know. But like I need to keep it a little simple. I I won't be doing the time erase script. <laughs> I looked at it and it, it, it just doesn't I ain't the one for that one. NPC that fights back, you're gonna need like modules and like pathfinding and magnitude and like loops, different types of functions and stuff. You need a lot of knowledge for that. Yeah, yeah, you definitely need a lot for that. But I could make one if you know I just sat here and tried, but it'll probably take me like. A day, maybe. Maybe not a day, but like a few hours. Uh, you could do a function for like their humanoid, like with the humanoid that died function. You could just have that function clone the items and drop them near where they died at. And, um,. I think that's pretty much everything. Okay. Uh So voice lines you said. Uh you have a voice line. Um Let's add sound. Like I'm not gonna actually add the sound, but like I'm going to add the script that you need for this now. So what you want to do is come up here above in the barrage. Come up above the local anim control. You want to do local... I'm going to call it speech. Is equal to instance dot new sound. And then we're going to parrot it to our stand, right? Well, if you don't want to do stand, then you could do like your character, right? And then you can do speech dot sound ID is equal to whatever sound ID that you have for your sound or whatever. And then we can do speech play. So, like, if you have like a looping sound, then or like a sound you want to loop, then you can do speech dot loop equals true. And that's how you loop the sound. This is how you like add sounds, literally those four lines. And then um removing it when you let go, right? So you want to name the sound object. So I'm gonna name speech dot name is equal to speech, right? And I'm going to go down to the other function down here, which deals with stopping the barrage. And right here, what I want to do is local speech. I want to reference it is equal to character find first child speech. And then what you want to do is if speech and make sure this is a uh, like that why does speech look so weird to me speech I don't know it just looks super weird to me uh, if speech then speech destroy and that's how you remove the sound object so yeah there you have it um Hey man, I just came here to thank you for making such a great tutorial. Since you ended this tu tutorials, it's giving me motivation to go on death forms and learn how to script my. Yes, 
That's that's how you really learn how to script is when you go to like Roblox Dev. Like you can learn a lot from Roblox Dev forums, or you can learn a lot from the Roblox Developer Hub. These are both great tools for learning. And uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, I have a Discord. If you just see like one of my recent tutorials, you'll see the Discord in the description. It's all good, Galaxy Panda. You got the whole stream to yourself, man. Yeah, I fixed the uh, arrows. If you finish like the tutorial and stuff, like the series, then you'll see like you can like use arrows. Well, I just made it so like you can't use the arrow if you have a sand already, because that was a problem that somebody had. But yeah, uh, well, you can use speech stop, and then you can destroy it after. So you can do like speech stop and then destroy just to make sure it stops the sound and stuff like that. Um, is there any more things like you want to learn or? Anything else you having problems with or anything? And if you think you missed something, like just go back into the stream and we'll rewatch the whole stream, and you'll probably find a fix for it. A pose is just you playing an animation on your your player and your your sand, like literally using that. And I went over this earlier in the stream. So, with speech, speech is just like uh, if you wanted to add sound. I just went over there like a few minutes ago. But if you wanted to add sound like voice lines or whatever. Sometimes if you're doing barrage on time stop, it does barrage forever. I mean it shouldn't like I fix like so that you can't really use moves together. Let me test it out just to make sure. Alright, you said... Time stop. Children. What the heck? What's up? Oh, snap. Okay. So, on this script, right? What you want to do is. Why is animal control there? Oh. If. Substand. Then. And then put the end there. So you close the uh, if statement out. And that fixes that error right there. Probably thought it was uh, the stand. And if you need any help with like anything else, just like rewatch the stream. I do that. Ah, and it does my thing. Okay, so now I need to make it ignore. Right. So if I go right here, right, and I type in and stand dot name is not equal to my player. Dot name dot dot stand. I think it's that. Let me check this real quick. No, it's not a mess. Okay, so I'll go back to the world, right? No, I remove that. Then this ignores my stand. 
therefore I'll be able to move as well. No, it still doesn't know my stand. Hmm. I wonder why it's not doing it. I think I know why actually. I'm ignoring my stand. And it's not equal to our player's name. Which is that. Make sure this is good. Oh, that's where the problem was. Okay, um, let's see this if Charles. If Charles that name or characters that name is not equal to our stand's name, then we can do this. Oh, let me. Then it can do that. And it fixes that error right there. So now when we test this. Um, I think it might can be hacked, but like, there's a lot of different ways to make something harder to hack. That's just up to you, honestly. You wanna do that? Yeah, and then. I mean, it seems to work for me. It doesn't really stay any longer. I'll do that. Yeah, that seems to work fine for me. Um, I mean, if somebody started barraging somebody else this time, so. Oh, it has to freeze the uh, stand. So, there's a lot of like complicated stuff that goes behind like freezing something. So, like, I just did like the uh, freezing the stand, right? And. If they get frozen, like say like they're doing a barrage, like the barrage script will still go on and since it's rate cash you'll still get hit. Because I just haven't done like a super in-depth thing on how to cancel other things. Like you'll need I'll need like module scripts and all this other stuff to like handle everything like that. And I don't think anybody's prepared for that right now. Yeah, Pooter, that's how it is. I don't. Wait, can you make the taunt? I have no idea what the what a taunt from Bazaar Day looks like with a But it's probably just an animation, really. You could do the animation itself or you could do it by script. It's up to you, honestly. Heavy punch only works one time for you. Hmm. Also, like, you have the hitbox and everything for it. Is there a way to make moves when they end to fight a client when your stand isn't out? 
Because if you unsummon, you stand while the last script breaks. Uh, let's see. I think I can fix that. So I'm barraging. I'll do that. Ah, I see, I see. Okay. So if you're using a move and you accidentally click the uh, thing, right? So like bring your stand back. So here's the fix. Um, if you go to the local script, I'm using stand one. Stand summit, right? <laughs> you have the excuse me. You have the enabled like line, the local enabled line, and uh. That actually shouldn't happen. Hold up. I think I skipped that one a lot. Yeah. That's all me. Um So each script should use the enabled value. As in like huh. Excuse me. Uh, they should enable So let's do barrage first real quick. Enable that value is equal to true. Enable that value is equal to false. Then when that happens, enable that value is equal to false. Uh, let me check this real quick. Yeah, so what I just put in my line, like it, make sure, like, okay, yeah, so in the scripts, right, in the local scripts, you want to make sure you set enable to true, like when you use the move, and make sure you set it to false in the on client event before the cooldown, so you can use other moves while the other move, this move cools down, and that's how you fix that part. That problem. Um, yeah, like a remote event helps a lot. Like, the only thing they can steal is anything client side. I don't think they can steal anything server side. But correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah. Yeah, they they're always be explored. You can't stop them all. Maybe punch only works one time. I think I already read that. Yeah, I did the speed walk. I'm at 199 videos. Am I? That's dope. Can you make the barrage not break? Cause when you saw unsummon sand. Oh yeah, yeah. Double, double limbs. Like you'll see uh in the stream. Like I just fix it. I make sure you shake when you hit a punch. Uh, I could probably do that for like a combat tutorial. Can you edit your stand and look like the world? I mean, I could, but I'm not going to really do that because I don't really know what that stand is too much. I think that's dial stand or dial stand or something like that. But other than that, I don't really know stands like that. Especially at 200 people, I don't know. 
Maybe. Is there any possible way to make an ortho stand with on an ortho carry? I mean, you can make an ortho stand. It's the same as an R50. Well, I believe it's the same as an R50 stand. I'm pretty sure it has the same body parts in them as an R15. Um. You could just use the projectiles that are made for that. Nah, dubs. Yes, I'm making that. Nah, don't remove the air statements. Um, watch what I just said, like a few minutes ago, when I added the uh, the enable that value is equal to true. Add those that line into the different things, so I can just do this. Enable that value is equal to true. And make sure I set it false before the cooldown. And uh, I can do that as well. Before the cooldown. And stuff like that. Um, I think that's about it. That was same as the world, it's the same type of stand as the stop sign that was like stop sign. Yeah. Yeah, I just, Benjo, I just fixed that as well in the stream. So, like, if you need to go back, like, watch the stream fully, I think you'll see that. Okay, I think that's about it for the stream. Um, if you put any more comments in below, I can probably like help you with you know, anything. But I'm not gonna really do anything new with it. I'm just gonna keep it where it's at. Uh, and um, huh. No, don't remove anything. Don't remove anything. Don't remove any of statements. If you're using the hit, the heavy punch, you can't do some like what I said. Like was to make sure, like you know, you put the enabled value, so that will prevent you from switching out your stand when you're using the move. If somebody hits you while you're using the move, you're fine. The move will be fine. It shouldn't break. When the barrage ends the second second time. Yeah, that's when you let go of the uh, key. 
<sighs> but it has in place of like if you let go before the duration ends, then it just stops the script entirely and you won't break anything. But if you but if you let the duration go, then it it will just stop the script when it's done. Like it there's like things in the script that allows it to stop at certain points like when you let go it stops it and if you don't let go and let the duration go out then it stops when it's done but it won't break if I want to make an ability to de-summon the enemy stand uh, you you have to do <laughs> a lot more stuff with that then like, I can't really explain that in like a few minutes Just know it's something similar, like if you look at the world script, um, the world script and stuff like that, you know how I use like the distance and stuff like that, you're going to need to use something similar to that, that gets like the player's backpack and make sure like they enable something or disable whatever. But yeah, the world has like some things you'll need, but you'll probably have to figure the rest out on your own. So you could DM me. But yeah, I'm in the stream here. Um, I have no idea. I think I just duplicated that by accident. Okay. But yeah. I'm gonna end it here. What's up late wolf bite? Um Thanks for hanging out and stuff. Like learning. My bad. Alright, so like thanks for hanging out. And um like I won't help dub limbs. I won't help you with like everything, but you know I can try to help you fix some things. But like like what you just asked me, like I'm probably not gonna help you with that. That's something like you might have to do on your own. 